Welcome to One Mike Black History. I'm your host, Country Boy, and today's episode is about Hollywood versus black history, in particular, the Netflix movie, The Harder They Fall. The movie assembles a black cast of actors to play legendary Western figures from across time to tell a fictional story about two rival gangs, the They Love Gang and the Rufus Buck Gang. And while The Heart of They Fall tells a fictional story that departs from actual events, the characters were very, very real. So who are the real people behind the characters in The Heart of They Fall? And if this is the type of content that you like, please hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to hear more content like this, you can do so at my channel or at onemichistory.com. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at my Patreon page in the description below. One of the major characters in The Holiday Fall is Nat Love, played by Jonathan Majors. Majors Nat Love engages to seek revenge on the man that killed his parents and branded him as a child. The real Nat Love was an American cowboy and his exploits made him one of the most famous heroes in the Old West. Nat Love was born enslaved in 1854 on a plantation in Davidson County, Tennessee. His father was Samson Love, a slave foreman on a plantation, and his mother was unknown, but she was the manager of the kitchen. Despite laws that outlawed black slaves from learning to read, Love learned to read and write as a child with the help of his father. When slavery ended, Love's parents stayed on the plantation as sharecroppers to attempt to raise tobacco and corn. When Nat Love's father passed, Nat took on a second job at the local farm to help make ends meet. During this time, he was noted as having a gift for breaking horses, and he won a few horse raffles and sold them back to the owner. He used the money to leave town at only 16 and head out west. This is where Love ends up in Dodge City, Kansas, where he's hired on with a crew of cowboys that already included several African-Americans on the Duval Ranch. Love co-workers gave him the nickname Red River Dick, and he quickly adapted to life of a cowboy, showing excellent skills as a ranch hand and practiced so often with the revolver that he became very comfortable around a gun. He quickly earned a reputation as one of the best all-around cowboys in the Duval outfit and he soon became a buyer and a chief brand reader. In this capacity, he was sent to Mexico on several occasions, and this allowed him to become very fluent in Spanish. After a few years at the Duval Outfit, Love moved to Arizona in 1872, where he went on to work for the Gallagher Ranch. He traveled all over the Western trails, sometimes working in dangerous situations that included gun battles with Native Americans, cattle rustlers, and bandits. During his years as an Arizona cowboy, Nate claimed that he met a few very famous people from the Old West, including Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. In the spring of 1876, Gallica Cowboys were sent to her 3,000 steers to Deadwood, South Dakota. When the crew arrived on July 3rd, the locals were busy preparing for the July 4th celebration. One of the many events was a cowboy contest with a $200 first prize. Contestants competed in rope bridling, saddling, and shooting, and Nat Love won every single competition. He walked away with a $200 prize and a new nickname of Deadwood Dick. In one incident in 1877, Love states that he was even captured by Prima Indians while rounding up stray cattle at the Gila River in Arizona. He states that he was only spared because they respected his heritage and because a large portion of the tribe was of mixed heritage themselves. He said he was almost forced to marry the chieftain's daughter and the group nursed him back to health and asked him to join their tribe. He would eventually run away after stealing a horse and escaping into to West Texas. Nat Love continued to work as a cowboy in the Southwest for another 15 years before he began to settle down and got married in 1889. In 1890, Love said that he saw the march of progress with the coming railroads to the West and the railroads would soon make cowboys jobs obsolete. So he took a job in Denver, Colorado as a Pullman Porter on the Denver Rio Grande Railroad. As such, the route took him west of Denver and his family moved several times times from Wyoming to Utah to Nevada before finally settling down in Southern California. 
In 1907, Nat Love published his autobiography, The Life and Adventures of Nat Love, better known in cattle country as Deadwood Dick. He states that everything in that book actually happened, but it was almost impossible for us to verify. Nat Love's last job was at the Courier for the General Securities Company in Los Angeles, California, and he died in 1921 at the age of 67. And this has been the Nat Love Story. And if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, please hit the subscribe button. Also, you can find more content like this at OneMikeHistory.com. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so via my Patreon page in the description below. Peace.